What's up, Blue Chips? Three for three yet again today. Let's get to it. Here we go with MNTA. And we're going to take our starter there on MNTA. CYH really didn't do what we wanted it to do, so go elsewhere. Pull up FSLR, really give this thing a look. Support down there at 50. Dang, MNTA saying, what's up? Almost hit it there, should have. Would have been real nice. That would have been real nice. 30.15. If it wants to give us that. That would have been real nice. I was about to hit it. I was hoping we got the 32 pop because I didn't want to be too close together considering the range. Trying to be patient here with MNTA since we only got our starter. Looking for it to come down towards that previous resistance. Let me get my calculator out here. Not a huge fan of that one. This, this FSLR, kind of interested in. It's just not really giving us what we want. Here we go, coming down MNTA, see if we can get a fill when we get down here. We're on the bid. And there we go. Cool. So nice $10 winner right there. That's exactly what we're looking for for a single entry. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Take our starter there at 21. Oops. Put an order out there at 11 if it wants to just drop right back down real quick. Almost gave it to us there, 13. I feel like we could get a little bit more there. Let's try a 13.06. I feel like it would want to try 13 again if it gets there. Front run it a little bit. Got to 12, 11. So might have been out right there for the quicker win. There we go. We're on the bid and we're filled. Sweet. Take a nice little winner there in PCG. Going to try something here. Maybe. This is pretty extended. We're right at that key support area. We're going to get in here. Uh, C-R-O-N. We got ended up with 772 there. So this is kind of really on me at this point. I started with smaller share size and I should have actually started with half. So right now we'd be at $12 instead of six, but we're gonna see if we can't get a poke through VWAP here. There we go, it's trying. See if we might even get like a run back up towards eight trying not to let VWAP influence me here. There we go, 88, 90. Let's see if we can get a push up towards eight here. All right, we're getting rejected there. Oh crap, I ended up adding to my position there because I hit the wrong button. So, 
we are going to end up taking this. I'm going to give it one sec to see if it wants to pop up. Pa, pa, go back up to 90 here. All right, no. Nope. All right, we're going to take it off. That was our mistake, and we ended up paying a little bit for it. We should have ended up with $8 there, but we ended up with five fifty. All right, sure. So real quick, as I was kind of editing everything, I decided to take MNK. This was right off the scanner. It popped up. As you can see, though, it was a demo account trade. Uh, I was just, I'd already kind of had my thumbnail made and all that good stuff. So I didn't really want to uh, chance getting stuck in a trade. Plus I'm getting ready to go lay my son down and I'm trying to eat lunch. So there was a lot going on. There was really no reason for me to want to get stuck in a real trade at this moment. But I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better trade opportunity, right? This is exactly what we're looking for. And to be quite honest, I'm a little upset. I didn't take it for real, obviously in hindsight, because it worked out, but that was a nice trade. Um, overall there on MNK. So to go over the other ones real quick, um, we'll actually start in order MNTA being our first trade today. It kind of looks similar, doesn't it? Uh, we got a nice push above previous resistant, resistance. I'm having trouble saying that word lately. Here in the pre-market, ended up taking a starter. We were actually looking to add if this wanted to pop through 32, but it did not. It only got the 3190 and then it just absolutely dumped off. And we kind of took that right as it felt like it was done. Previous resistance, VWAP, they were lining up together right there at that $30 area. So we took it off at, where, where did we end up taking it off? $30.15 is where we ended up taking that off. So the next trade was PCG. PCG was pretty much, we got out of MNTA and right into PCG. This was extending as well. Another short trade uh, from that previous resistance. Got up there over 13, got the 13 pop, and we got a nice little extension as we were watching that one live. You saw that in the video. And we got the move back down. It gave us the pretty much half that move that we were looking for. And we could have rode that right down to that previous resistance because, look, that's exactly where it ended up bouncing off of. You guys know that I love looking for those previous resistance areas to be used as support before it attempts to move higher. That's exactly what it did. And in the future, when I get these single entries, I might try to be a little bit more patient, uh, especially on ones that aren't moving super fast, uh, like PCG. This wasn't moving uh, really quickly like MNTA did, but I can't fault uh, the trade there. CRON as well. This one was a little bit of a mistake um, getting out of the trade. We ended up pretty much bottom ticking this, uh, pretty much using this as a triple bottom for the most part. There was key support here. And I actually went lower share size than I would have normally. Um, I would have started this normally with 100 shares, but as you can see, I only used 50 because I feared, I didn't fear, I just, I was assuming that it might try to break through the support and give us a nice, a bigger extension than we already had. So I wanted to start with half the starter position, looking to add into, to have my full starter position. And then from there on, we could have used 100 uh, if it decided to keep going. Um, but as you can see, we ended up uh, finding the bottom there as it used that as support yet again. And we... Went to exit our position right here at VWAP as it we were looking for it to get up towards eight, but it started to feel like you can't really see it on this candle. Uh, but it started to reject there right at VWAP. It poked through and then got rejected, and that's usually a sign that it's going to try to continue lower. Um, obviously, it did not. But when we went to get out of our position, we had taken two short trades earlier in the day, and I have to get used to this. If I'm going to be taking longs and shorts all at the same time and stuff like that, I have to make sure I know what I'm doing when I hit my button because instead of hitting sell 100% position, I actually hit cover 100% position, and we ended up adding our position size to the trade, and we ended up losing $0.02 cents on that. So if you look at the buy 787, then we ended up covering at seven or selling at 785. Uh, once we, we attempted to let it try to get through 790 again to see if it wanted to make this push up towards eight. But as you can see, it actually came all the way back down to 776 before it decided to continue. So not too upset with the trade, just a little bit upset that we clicked the wrong button because we could have made a little bit more on it. But as you can see, we're starting to feel more comfortable. Um, things went a lot more smooth today. If you want to go back and watch any of these via the live stream to kind of get the whole gist of everything, feel free. But I didn't really edit too much out of these trades. As you can tell, they were pretty quick trades to begin with. And that's all I have for you today. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. Always appreciate that support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.